And how polite you. Times are tough. There's no jobs. But now the ginseng rush should come back. Ginseng means a lot of money. It's what feeds your family. Digging ginseng is worse than any damn drug you'll ever do. It's addiction. But digging in the woods is very dangerous. Anything happened to you back in the mountains. It's life of a mountain man. There ain't no life of no city boy. <laughs> Cross your fingers and say your prayers. This time of year, it's every man for himself. Okay, are flowing. Around the world, September 1st is just another day. But in Appalachia, it's the first day of ginseng season. In the Far East, ginseng is used for just about everything. From fighting off illness to lifting libido. But for Appalachians, it's a chance to make a ton of money. West Virginia's mountains produce some of the best wild ginseng in the world. This year, the brutal winter cut the growing season. That's got ginseng in short supply and prices at an all-time high. Competition's always been fierce, but times are tough. Now people aren't just looking to strike it rich. They're fighting to survive. But while some folks are itching to get into the woods... Here we go again. Landowner Mike Ross aims to keep them out. In our ginseng season. Every year when you see them berries turn red, you got chaos in these mountains. Last year was pretty rough on me. There's a son of a bitch now. Them poachers raped my land. This is up. We burnt my truck. It cost me more than I'd like to admit. And that ginseng don't belong to anybody but me. Take a look at that. I ended up selling a good bit of the thing to Tony Kaufman. Had enough money to buy me a good truck. Part of my deal with Tony was having him tell people that my honey hole's gone so they could stay off my property. But I kept a secret stash. Probably about 150,000 worth. After that long winter, people were desperate for a buck. Time to protect what's mine. Check this out. Upgraded my old hillbilly alarm system. Set me up a trail cam out in the woods. Right down near my stash. This year I ain't taking any more chances of what I got left. What I got in the woods, I'm keeping. 
This land's been in Mike's family for generations. I'm not gonna let anybody take it from me. And he'll do anything to protect it. A few hollers east. Hey! Stand up! Obi Bennett will do just about anything to protect himself. I got my own uh, home security system, I guess, by these dogs. Three o'clock in the morning, there's somebody out here in my woods. Dogs let me know, I look. There's a headlamp out there. I'd say if I had to guess who it was, it was Ron. Some stuff happened during the winter. The search for a missing woman from Greenbrier County continues. 43-year-old Deanne Keene of Frankfurt was reported missing. Deanne was last seen with Ron McMillan. I spoke with her mom earlier, and she believes he has something to do with her disappearance. They heard him say, I will kill you. I don't wish him no bad luck, but I don't wish him no good luck. While he is not a suspect, he is a person of interest. If you know anything about the disappearance of Deanne Keene, call 411. I don't like talking to the police. When they come, what are you supposed to do? Now, Ron thinks I betrayed him. All I can do is just, you know, watch my back. Enough of that, Ron. Keep your eyes open, my ears open. This is the beginning of the ginseng season, and. <laughs> where we're going we're not supposed to be and you all right <laughs> so this kind of we gotta go through to get this good ginseng if it was easy everybody would be doing this i just gotta find a way to get down here look here Two prong. Pretty decent size two prong, too. There's one, two, three, four plants right here, ginseng. Leave them things alone, come back here in about five years. <clears throat> so that's a good sign. Get close to that honey hole. I'm gonna go higher. I know them seeds had to come from somewhere. Look at there. Boot track. That's fresh. That's from here this morning. We had rain last night. There's somebody out here. Just gotta keep your eyes open. Shouldn't be much further. Me, look at that. That's a damn message right there, ain't it? Ron's been here. This ain't no joke. He knew I'd be coming back here to get this. He's probably sitting here watching us now, laughing. Hair on the back of my neck standing up. Take that for you can't use it against me. If we run up on him, man, it could get real bad real quick, so. Watch your back. Going into the woods alone is always a gamble. But when it comes to ginseng, there's no such thing as a safe bet. The ginseng business is high risk and high reward. We want to be a direct supplier to Hong Kong, but you got to start here.
I'm here to secure a deal with a big time buyer. Good news is, this guy's got the money to do whatever he wants. Bad news is, if you don't perform for him and come through 100% on the deal, you may live to regret it. Or you may not live at all. This is the place. Hello. May I hear you? I'm looking for Mr. Yon Lee. Yon Lee, okay, you go up here. Sure, sure. Maybe better. I'm Tony Kaufman here to see Yon Lee. Mr. Lee. Good to meet you, sir. What's your mind, Mr. Kaufman? Well, I'm trying to expand my territory and get a little bigger. I'm interested. Good. It won't work with me. I need 2,000 pounds. 1,000 a month, about 1,000 after that. It's a lot of ginseng and a lot of money. Talking a million and a half, two million dollars. You came to me, so what's it gonna be? Well. First day of ginseng season. I got to go make some money, feed my babies with. I gotta do a lot better than I did last year. Work myself all the way up. West Virginia, up north, where I can help Tony Kaufman out a little bit. He was awful good to me last year. I lost the lottery again. I don't like leaving my kids for several weeks at a time, but somebody's got to take care of them, and that's got to be me. Load my tools up. What the hell you doing? Huh? Come see. Get <laughs> this up, Mr. The hell you been into? Uh, nothing. You doing all right? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm still alive. Okay, good to see you, man. What's Yo. up, Jake? Good seen you since last year. We're going to play the autumn. Okay. Today's first day of swing digging. Yeah, I know this. I'm coming by to see you. Heading up north. Well, you see if I find me some damn honey holes up through the Blue Ridge Park. Yeah, you don't have to go that far, I don't think. I know where they're honey hole at. Locally here? Uh, yeah. I don't know all about that business. Them some of you about got me last year. That's bad. People really don't know what it is to be chased by a DNR. If I get caught hunting ginseng down here, fines $5,000 and six months in jail. I really need this. I mean, it's a sure thing. I need cash, you know. And this is the only way I can get it right now. Now, <laughs> as a good buddy and friend, I need your help, man. Jen saying it's like a drug. Makes you take chances you wished you hadn't took sometimes. <laughs> if this honey hole is as big as EJ says it is, I may not even have to go to West Virginia. All right, I go with you. I hope I don't get caught. I don't think we will. Ginseng will drive a man to stick his neck out, whether he's putting food on the table or building an empire. Back in the Big Apple, Tony Kaufman's making the biggest deal of his life. I need 2,000 pounds. Well, it takes money to make money. If I'm going to buy 2,000 pounds of ginseng, I'm going to need an advance.
One month. Don't be late. Yeah. Show me that coffee from that. I spend this with you, Mr. Kaufman? I'll wire you some money tonight. You won't be sorry. I'm in deep. But this could mean great things for me. This guy is the direct line to Hong Kong. These are the kind of guys you do not want to cross. I kind of like my fingers and hands all connected together. Airport. Let's get the hell out of here. Got to get my ass back to West Virginia. Buying and selling ginseng is a billion dollar worldwide industry. Shouldn't be much further. But it all starts in the hollers of Appalachia. Where Obi Bennett's on his first dig of the season. This whole bank is plumb full of ginseng. I'll make a thousand dollars right here today. This right here is what I'm talk about. That's a stud right there. Look at the growth rings on it. It's probably 60 years old. It's very important to replant these berries. Put them back in the ground, and it'll come back next year. You don't keep replanting them, then, then nothing else is gonna come back. I'm in the money. Some old country boys running bear. Another monster. I even cut half of it off. Son of a bitch. Dogs are getting closer. I don't like this at all. I'm starting to think they're tracking me. Man, we need to get out of here right now, ma'am. Get ready to run. We gotta go. Shake these damn dogs. I don't know who it is or what they want, but they're definitely tracking us. I don't know what to do. Chase me through the damn woods. I don't think they're gonna turn the dogs loose in here. It'll be too hard to get them back out. Sit here and chill for a second. Hi. Right. Wait, stop. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. I guess we'll scale back around this way. Hey, 
think they're gonna get my ginseng. They're full. Ginseng's got Obi in the last place he wants to be. Seems like every time I get chased, I end up in a cave, man. A hundred miles to the west. The Golden Roots got Greg in an equally tight spot. Go, 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 go. He was digging on private land. Come on, gotta go. And now, go, 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 go. he's running from the law. Be an army man. Told you him being Oracle be in my ass over this. Cross the bridge out there. Don't know where if I catch it. You know what this is, don't you? Hell yeah. Five damn near. I know what it is. That's for sure. $6,000 fine. Automatic. Automatic. Ain't it? He's still coming. Go, go, go. He didn't see his turn yet. All right, folks. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's good. Hell yeah, that's good. <laughs> you idiot. Oh, you an idiot. <laughs> We're going up here in the woods. It comes out like they are somewhere. We can't go back up. It's dead ends up here. What the hell are we going to do? Stay in the mountain? I will have to. For sure. They take my damn truck. They take everything I've got. If they catch us. I will never get the dig with you again. This son of a bitch does dead in. I told you. Blood was the one that went around. I told you. Look this thing sick. Take my key with me. Well, we gotta get out of here. God dang. Here, AJ. Cover this son of a bitch up a little bit. Hot, hot, hot. Hell, that's good enough, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll come back tomorrow and get the damn dirt. See what kind of mess you've got me into. Outlaws have been using these mountains to hide for centuries. With 737,000 square miles of terrain, you never know who might be lurking in the woods or underneath. These caves are like the roadway under the Appalachian. We take a wrong turn. You be anywhere. I've never been in this cave. I have no idea which way we're going. You hear water gushing. Might be a way out. Damn it. The damn lights messing up. I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. In a situation like this, having a partner would be nice, but no offense, you ain't much of a partner. Well, this is the damn water I was hearing. From everything I've heard from cavers, this right here might be our ticket out, man. All this water downstream. God damn it, slick. Hey, right here might be a way. Looks like there's a passage up through there. Be away. Looks like there's passage up through there. Oh, man. Ow. This is grinding in my ribs. Ah. Oh. Damn, 
shoulder. Nah, that must really hurt. Can you get out? <laughs> oh god, that hurts. <laughs> Some bitch hurts. <clears throat> Tore that pectoral muscle or something. Oh man, I see light. You see it? Yeah. Oh, that's our way out, man, right there. Made it, Jay. Hey, hand me the camera. I got it. Yeah, dude. Made it. We made it. Right now, I feel relieved. We got the out. I got out. My gin sang in hand. But if I had to do it all over again, I would. Well, let me get up high on this ridge and try to get a bearings of where we're at, man. <clears throat> I ain't even know think about where we're at. A select route of ginseng could fetch several hundred dollars, and Obie's holding on to a whole bag of them. Back in Georgia, huh? Greg ditched his truck to hide from the law. I see the damn same buried weed. Well, they got to be ginseng here then. But his fortunes are about to change. Right there. Ain't that pretty? Go get some sign in here. Feeds my kids. Hard ass ground. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna plant these berries back on these dudes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said, you old fuck. Right, I'll go around you. behind you, Dick and Jess, eh? Yeah, I know. I don't, know. I don't need you to show me where it's at. <laughs> oh, hell yes. Yeah. This is called select ginseng. Yes, See all the rings? This is what the Chinese like right here. We don't break it. Good tail. That's pretty. That's a dandy right there. Great, Lord. We'll get the hell out of here. It's been a damn long day. All right. Down? Yeah. How much ginseng do you think we got, Hollywood? Uh, I don't know, but 10 or 12 pounds piece, I hope. Ah, uh, me too. Y'all almost got me five years in prison. Get on right over down here a little way. It gets dark, we'll go back and get the truck, we'll get the hell on out of here. Well, they too damn much heat on that damn truck for us to go back tonight and get it. What do you want to do, stay in here tonight? Hell yeah, let's stay in here tonight and get the truck in the morning. Get the hell out of here. You want to camp in here tonight? Yeah. Well, they won't catch us. Stay far away for, you know, back where they won't get us. Let's go on through yonder then. I agree with you. That, right. that makes sense. Let's get on through yonder then. Well, let's find us a place where we can fix it. That's our old keep it rolling for about six right hours. Let's lay down and take good. some rest. Good night. Good night, old man. Greg and EJ might be stuck in the woods, but they got ginseng to keep them warm. Back at Mike Ross's ranch. What the hell? 
Things are just heating up. Sons of bitches. See that? Yep, somebody's out there. See that? Yep, somebody's out there. Somebody poaching up there. So much from an alarm system. What's going on? He got away from me. He's fast. I need to upgrade my security system. Make sure these poachers don't make off with all my ginseng. And there's only one place I can go to get cash real fast. season these guys are already out here stealing from my patch. It ends right now. Excuse me. I ain't dealing with this again. See that? Right over here, on the other side of my property line. That whole area's gated off. I ain't got no reason to be here. Hopefully they're watching. Don't see me dig all this ginseng up. Singing and farming is my life. And out here, they're in their 401ks. My retirement plan is in the ground. In these woods. Mike's future's tied to his last patch of sang. And he's not about to let poachers bleed him dry. I'm gonna dig up a good 20 pounds of this. That should give me enough cash to protect the rest of it. If Mike's gonna protect his family's plot, He'll need more than trail cams. For over 60 years, diggers from all over Appalachia have been selling their roots to the Kaufmans. And four ounces. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. But this year, Tony's in deep with a big time buyer. I need 2,000 pounds. Talking a million and a half, $2 million. One. Yeah. And he's going to need more than weekend warriors to fill the order. How you doing? Nine ounces. It's about $220, $225. Suits me. All right. With the decimation of the coal industry, there's going to be records amount of people out in these woods going after this stuff. Plus, the Chinese price shot up. The 70,000 pound they dug last year, it may be dwarfed by this year's dig. Come on in. All right, Jody, you ready? 
That's 950. James, what's your hometown, buddy? Still got some more digging to do. 300 bucks for her. Okay. Now you got some to start with, don't you? A little bit, not much. Point 30. Uh, we got you about $174 here. Sounds just fine. All right, well, that's more or less typical of what's going on right now. If you notice, there's not a lot of large roots in it, simply because people are bringing what they have dry, and it's always the small that dries first. It'll get a lot better. But day one, and we've already bought a barrel full of dry. We're way ahead of where we were at this time last year. It's a lot of ginseng for one day to buy off of just diggers coming in. Hello, Calkins. Mike Ross, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> yeah, I knew you was holding out on me last season. Hello, Calkins. Mike Ross, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> yeah, I knew you was holding out on me last season. No. I'll tell you what. Get that sign to me first thing tomorrow, and I'll get you top dollar out of it. A firm offer from Tony is all Mike Ross needs. Dipping into his stash should get him enough money to secure his property and protect his land from poachers. This last batch took a lot longer to dry. Got some pretty big roots in it. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable taking this much ginseng to Tony during the day, so... I'm gonna travel over there in the dark. You gotta do what you gotta do. You ready to ride? They don't make them like you used to. Here we go. Hope you enjoyed a nice, long, quiet ride. We ain't got no radio in this thing. Nice, long, quiet, smooth ride. <laughs> you know, I'm not much of a night owl, but if you're traveling with this much ginseng, that's a lot of money. Nighttime, ain't too many people out. You don't have to worry about the cops as much. Figure leaving at 4 o'clock in the morning would be the best thing. When it comes to money, I'll do about anything. Keep your eyes open, though. I need an extra set of eyes, especially on trips like this. That's odd. Looks like somebody's behind us. You usually don't see much traffic on this road in the daytime, much less four o'clock in the morning. Unless it's somebody going to work. I'm gonna cut off the road right up here. I know a little bit of a back way. Okay, hard fall on me. Let's see if I can keep up.
this season on Appalachian Outlaws. You run these mountains, it's, it's a different way of life. Knowing where to go makes a difference in making a big payday or just getting out of the life. If you ain't no real gin singer, you need to stay at home. What the hell? Oh, ah. Y'all digging in the wrong territory. I need big gin sang, I need quantity, and I need quality. And I expect you guys to do it. Get that son of a bitch. There he is. Somebody stole my damn truck. We're coming for you. That's supposed to mean. Yeah! What the hell is that? 